Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the weirdness. My name is Danielle, and <laughs> welcome to my channel. Before we get started, I want to thank my wonderful patrons who have sponsored this video. You guys let me go full-time, full-time, and I appreciate it so much. Uh, link to my Patreon right in the description box. But today is all about fashions. So first, I'm going to try on this fluffy sweater that gives me kindergarten teacher energy because I give myself kindergarten teacher energy. You might not know, but I've worked in childcare and I thrived, but now I'm a YouTuber, so that, that, it, okay. Uh, <laughs> the thing I really like about this sweater is that it's really fluffy and it's sweet and it's innocent. It, you know, it just gives you kind of a cozy feeling. This is mostly an in the house uh, sweater. I can't really see myself wearing this outside of the house. Um, it's kind of difficult to style, but I really like the coziness of it. And it's actually very well made and it has freaking pockets. I really love to have pockets. I'm a woman, I've been deprived. Now next, we're going on to this dress shirt. I don't know how to wear dress shirts. Um, I've succeeded only today. I bought it literally so I could wear it with this uh, very edgy sweater vest. <laughs> Uh, I identify as an edgy sweater vest. I tried to pair it with this skirt, but it, it, mm, no. It doesn't work, it just doesn't work. So then I put it on top of the skirt and I tried to be eggy about it and, no. It just doesn't work, but I do like the look of the dress shirt and the skirt just by themselves. It's giving me something academia. I don't know which kind of academia, which is why I'm trying to summon it now with my dance skills, as you can see. Hmm. So this is what ended up being summoned, this beautiful jacket that I bought, and I tried to pair it with my 70s kind of uh, platform boots. Honestly, looking at this, it's kind of a chunky look. I don't much like it, but I'm just trying to figure out what my fashion voice is at this point. I don't know, I'm trying to fashion. So I paired it with this uh, brimmed hat and this, <laughs> uh, this bag in an attempt to fashion. I still don't like it. So then I changed the shoes to these much more dainty shoes. That's me showing off my ballet skills, it's fine. So now it was time to check out these cool overall pants, you know, half and half situation. I thought it looked really like edgy and trendy, the opposite of what I am. <laughs> and I was giving you serious senpai energy, so I leaned in. What do you think? Do you need someone who knows the school grounds better? It me. <laughs> I paired them with my awesome shoes. These are my witchy boots. I wear them all throughout October. It's November when I'm filming this, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> I tried to revive the hat. It didn't work. I'm trying. I did notice that these pants are really loose in the, uh, the pelvis area, and um, that's usually how it goes. So now I have the longer dress shirt and you know what I have to do? I have to risky business. Complete. It's like giving you, I stole this from my boyfriend, except um, I, I didn't. <laughs> and I <laughs> am throwing this abomination on top. It looked really cute on the site. I didn't, I, d I don't like how it looks on me. I think it's very chunky. I don't think it accentuates my figure. And it's like, it hits at a weird place. It doesn't really work with the dress shirt, but I tried and no one can say I didn't. And you know what? I'm trying even harder. I'm using this very cute violin bag I got. Isn't it so cute to try to like spice it up, try to make it happen, but it's not gonna happen but I like this bag. The bag did nothing wrong, okay? Let's get that straight, everyone. I have the long dress shirt paired with this giant sweater dress, and I really like it. So much I had to do <laughs> a lunge. So in order to bring my shape back, I wanted to put on a belt, but the thing about this belt is um, it doesn't have enough notches for my small frame. I have a big personality, but a very small body. Shh, no one has to know that I cheated with the belt. 
it's fine. And then I noticed a particularly um, interesting situation with this sweater dress. I enjoy um, how it falls on my figure. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing. I think this purse is very cute. It makes me selective about what I'm bringing with me. I've been carrying it to eliminate me just bringing my entire household items with me. It makes me look like I'm hailing a taxi in New York and I'm just like, it's very what I want to dress like, and I guess that's how I dress. This is another sweater dress that works as its own thing. I attempted to belt it as well. It kind of falls a little funny, but it looks really cute. In fact, it's so cute that I had to whine in it. So here is the purse that I paired with it, and here's some more whining. If you want to know what song I was dancing to, you could be part of my Patreon, but that's really up to you. Link in description. Next up is this checkered dress. I feel extremely 70s. I think the go-go boots pair perfectly with that. I absolutely wore it out. I don't care. Georgia is this thing where it's cold in the morning and it's nice during the day and then it's cold in the evening. So you just gotta pick your time and then wear whatever you want. Next up is this pink dress that was giving me I'm going to fail you vibes, but it didn't. Look, it worked. I really like this dress. I love feminine things. I like hitting them with the shoulder. I love to hit them with the shoulder. I got shoulder, so I hit them. Next up is basically the opposite of the last dress. This is like, I'm going to give you the vague suggestion of a person. Check this out. <laughs> I continue to dance with my shapeless dress. It's really nice to just have a dress that you can just be a person in and you don't have to like worry about how cool you look. Um, but then I tried this jacket on with it and I liked it even more. I was giving you low-key senpai energy, so I uh, zeroed in on that. Next up is this pink dress. I have a love-hate relationship with this pink dress, but I figured I would keep it in for the express purpose of, hey, not every angle works, it's fine. Next up is this black dress, which I hate these shoes with, but I was getting tired at this point. It had been two and a half hours. <laughs> Again, I love to hit them with a shoulder. So this was my best friend, my best friend. I think I would actually pair this with some high heeled black boots, which are literally against the wall, but I don't feel like grabbing them. Next up is this big long sweater, these white pants and these white shoes, and I was feeling it. I felt like uh, a very powerful, symmetrical woman, uh, so much so that I had to do some échappés and some changés and some petit bonbons. Uh, it had to happen. And then I threw a sunflower in my hair uh, and then I baby wind uh, for a little second. After that, we have this beautiful combination. Can you tell I was getting more confident with my fashion choices? Uh, so <laughs> we have this like half dress, I don't know what this is called, and this pink turtleneck with that tiny little bag. And then I got really curious about this red sweater. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> I got a little more bold with my choices. I cannot explain to you how much I love pink and red together. They're a power couple and we stand. Next up was this blue staple. Uh, you like how I'm trying to talk like I'm a, a beauty YouTuber? You like that? Anyway, I tried it on with these uh, these plaid situations, which are pants. Ah ha ha ha, I had you fooled. You never saw it coming. Now I must do my knee thing. But the dress shirt looked terrible with them, so I changed it to this uh, beige, uh, small uh, crop top, turtleneck. What even is female fashion at this point? <laughs> Next up is my, oh, it's such a little 70s look. I love it. I have this corduroy, what is this? Like orange brown skirt and this uh, black turtleneck. And then I hit them with a sunflower in my hair and the go go boots in brown. I feel so cute in this outfit. So extremely groovy, baby. <laughs> I was feeling so groovy, I had to do many groovy moves. I just feel so adorable and like very 70s. It's it's just something, I feel like it's something my mom would have worn. And she probably did, but she'd probably look way cooler in it. Anyway, I love you mom. Um, <laughs> and then we have this outfit with this uh, black and white uh, sweater. I know English. I tucked it into this beige mini skirt. It wasn't a mini skirt to begin with, but the way uh, my hips don't lie, everything turns. <laughs> And then I put the white sneakers with 
Thank you so much to my Sorry Spaniel patrons. If you'd like to be in this scroll, I suggest that you go to the description box below and subscribe to my Patreon where you can hear what I was listening to. <laughs> like and subscribe, it helps me so much fighting the algorithm dragon. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. I upload things like this on Tuesday. And this has been me, Danielle, your resident weirdo star puppy, signing out. Say it with me now, star puppy. Away! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.